Hey, Mike. Hey, what's up, man? Not too much. I also wanted to say to hey to everybody watching on the interwebs. <laughs> so for everybody watching, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and then hit nerdsense.net. And from there, all of our social media places, including this channel you're currently on. Awesome. Um, I'm very excited for this beer. Yeah, me too. I really like this when it was fresh. So I'm gonna what it's gonna be like aged, you know? Yeah. So this is Goose Island's Bourbon County brand barley wine from 2017. And Goose Island hasn't done a proper barley wine in uh, a while. This was the last year that they did a proper barley wine. Um the one after the one they did after this year was the coffee barley wine, which was for me it was okay. But this is and then they did and then they did the wheat wine. And the wheat wine, don't get me wrong, we, we both love the wheat wine. This year's caramello wheat, wheat wine was fantastic, but like yep. I just miss Bourbon County barley wine. Yep. So yeah, this particular one says it'll um, age up to five years. Um, oak, charcoal, vanilla, piss of tobacco. Um, bottled on October 6, 2017. So we're about three years old. Mike and I scored this at a local store during a, uh, well, a couple days before Black Friday, we're like, hey, would you have any Bourbon County stuff? They're like, yeah, we'll bring that up. And they brought like this up and some other vintages. We're like, yes, please. <laughs> yeah, I grabbed two bottles, thankfully. Oh, you did? I, I only oh, grabbed yeah. one, but but I only have I, – I already have another one in the basement too. So, But yeah, so I guess those we can age for five years. Oh, hold on. What? Yeah. Yeah. yeah maybe – yeah. Sorry. Something to drop. Oh, well, all all good. Wow, no head. <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, it, it's almost like a dark amber brown kind of color. Yeah, uh, on camera. Yeah, actually, that kind of comes through on camera. If you look at it kind of like that, I guess. But yeah, the head's dissipated 14.4%. So yeah, alcohol leg for days. Um, I haven't had this beer in at least two years, a year maybe. Yeah, probably two years. Yeah. Do you want to get a nose? Do it. <sighs> Jesus Christ. What a nose. <laughs> it's just stone fruits for days. Figgy jamminess. I'm getting like apple. Yeah, there's definitely <laughs> apple too. Yeah, I'm getting like it's almost like a candy apple kind of kind of a deal it's sweet it's sugary it's caramelly it's oh yeah yeah more like a caramel apple than like a candy apple yeah yeah that's actually what i meant i don't even know why i said that candy apple that's more with the red stuff on it right yeah which i don't yeah, know what I that know. is it's probably just, it's probably just sugar with food coloring <laughs> yeah no i i meant caramel my, i don't yeah. eat either so my bad oh it just and it just smells and there's still like a little bit, and there's like a little bit of vanilla and oakiness in there too. Like, like oh, yeah. this is, this smells like bonkers. Yeah, it just smells like, it smells like a holiday dessert, kind of. Yeah. So, it's going to taste. Let's do it. Cheers. Yeah, it's a little um, harsher than I expected. Uh, with the booziness. Yep. Very, very, um, very alcohol forward. Mm -hmm. Mine, so yours was cellar temp, and then you put it in the fridge to give it a little bit of a chill, right? Yeah, it wasn't in for much more than a yeah. few minutes. So, so. Okay, so so yours is relatively warm. Mine's? Oh, well, yeah. I took mine out of the stout fridge and for, let, let it sit up for 10, 15, but it's still kind of chilly. Yeah, mine is maybe... It's probably like around 57 degrees or something like that. Okay. It's, it's Mine's probably closer to 45, 50, I would say. Um, okay. Yeah, it does have that. It does have a boozy, a boozy character. I remember the last time I had this too. I don't remember that being that prominent. Um, no. I guess if you get past that, you do get a lot of what you get on the nose if you kind of look for it. Like there is that mm -hmm. like caramel sweetness, apple. Uh, oakiness mm -hmm. is there. It kind of like dries out your tongue a little bit, like a little bit of oh, the tannin. Yeah. Yep. Big time. Yep. I don't really get charcoal and tobacco though. No. But yeah, the barrel character is there. That's for sure. Maybe that's what this, maybe it's a, a charred barrel. So maybe that's what they're kind of going with a little bit of that. Um, 
chariness, but I'm not quite yeah. getting that. I think maybe the um that um that ethanol thing might be kind of overpowering some of those things. Yeah, it is. And, sometimes and, and, after I go ahead. There's, sometimes after I've taken a few sips, that stuff starts to wane a little bit. So maybe I'll be able to get a few more after I'm yeah. sipping times. You're like down to the end of the bottle. You're like, oh, this beer is great now. It's fantastic. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I've had a few sips now, and the the harshness is maybe maybe my tongue's acclimating to it, but it, it is it isn't the most. Um, it hasn't aged the best. Yeah, which you know. Now I'm wondering what we do with our other two bottles, but. <laughs> Unless, unless it's gonna, unless it's still going through its stuff, because they say five years, so maybe it's like by five years, it's gonna kind of go on the on the incline again. Well, maybe we try one next year, and we have one for the, the following year. Yeah, because you know? by next year we should be vaccinated, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, similar. The the more I drink it, the more I'm kind of acclimated, acclimated to the um, acclimated to the uh, alcohol. Yep. And it does have real it, it is it is still like it it is tasty. Like there's like I'm gonna finish yeah. this bottle for sure. Yeah. But like um it's just yeah, it's just like an, an, an initially and then it's not as like sweet and kind of barley wine ish as I remember, I guess. I don't know if barley wine ish is the way to kind of put it, but well, I mean it was pretty explosive the flavor profile when we yeah. first had it. I mean, like the sip was just like like you, you know what I mean? Like your eyes bulge at like yeah. the, like the tongue was just dancing. You know, this one's a little more um, subdued. I I honestly don't know how it ages. Like more than two, yeah, another two years from now. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, fuck who knows. As I let it sit, I'm getting like a chocolatey character on my on my after on like the oh. palate after aftertaste. Yeah, yeah, I am too. But it's like a dark chocolate kind of taste. Yeah, which which doesn't I don't think comes through. When you drink it, oh. yeah, a little bit, yeah, a little bit, but yeah. it, 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 definitely, it definitely comes through more as it sits on the tongue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'd be curious to know what uh, what everyone else if they've had this recently. Um, what what do you think of it yeah. compared to fresh? How was it a year? How was it two years? Now this is now this is three years. And I guess we'll check in with it next year and hopefully the year after and and and, and see where it progresses, and hopefully. Bourbon County brings us back at some point because as much as I love yeah. the caramel and the wheat line, wheat wine, I wouldn't mind having having this again, even if it's or they just release both, right? Like why yeah. not? <laughs> Get rid of that fog one. Yeah, the fog one we both liked. I know, but I would rather this. Yeah, well, well, they never really redo two variants. This no, no they know, never. Did. I, I think I think they only no. I think they only re redid the the wheat wine, but they kind of replaced the wheat wine with this. I think they did the wheat wine two years in a row. Yeah, yeah, but they, they, they but they did two different kinds of wheat wines. They they did things differently on each year. Yeah, right. So yeah, um, yeah. Overall, uh, I think I was hoping for a little bit more. It's still definitely a a good drinking beer. I'm looking forward to kind of sipping this throughout the rest of the night. I'll probably mm -hmm. do that. And then um, yeah. yeah, again, down in the comments, what you think of it? Have you had it recently? Have you had it after a year, after two years? Let us know. And as always, thank you for watching. Um, I'm Sean. That's Mike. And we're nerd sense. Cheers. Cheers, bro.